good morning guys what's up you with southern urbex just come to st mary's mental health institute what's left of it here in the midlands um this has mostly changed now so all these grounds have been rebuilt on they've turned into um some modern housing estate parts to it like a development um some of it's been left here but it is quite derelict i've not been here for a number of years uh, currently walking down one of the old roads in st mary's that's the old pathway which has almost completely gone now so that's been grown over for years behind that there um, there's quite a big big uh, brick wall so that must still be there unless it's falling apart um, but we're going to make our way down to one of the old parts of the hospital uh, go and see what's left of it um, there's some bits of buildings that have been knocked down uh, last time I was here there was a water tank on the side still uh, see if that's still there um, some of the old fencing as well, the old walls and stuff, all of that's still there as well. Uh, just give us two sets, guys, and we'll see where we're up to. I'll come back to you. So the guy, she's back with Southern Urbex, still going towards the part of St Mary's that's actually left. There's only one building now that's left here. Uh, this was quite a big site. It was very similar to the one um, that I went and explored in Denby. Uh, that's, as I say, that's what's left of the path. That's the original bit of... Uh, paving that used to go down that's the curb and um, this is the original road as well inside and um, you should be able to just about see one of the old concrete lampposts that's the building there behind that fence but there is access into it where there was last time we'll get closer to that as you can see from the top though very very derelict uh, that was a new build wall that wasn't there before the original part of the hospital but guys this is the old bits of walls that's left again that tank is still here so that's one of the old water tanks out of the buildings, still got the chain on it. Very heavy, quite covered up now. That's the original wall in St Mary's, I say, that's quite derelict now. You can see some of the old uh, round header bits of the wall. That's all behind the fence. And some of the other building and wall is mostly gone, it's all bricks now. It's all just bricks on the side and then you can see again part of the round wall just there sticking out on the side guys we're going to get a bit closer to actual st mary's though let's see what's going on over there um i will come back to you in two minutes like i say last time there was access and um, we'll still see if there is it has been heavily fenced off more so than when i was last year to be fair yeah it's actually got an actual proper fence running around it this time with barbed wire on the top um, that's obviously to keep everyone out because it is quite dangerous in, in this one, it's quite derelict, it's got scaffolding around it. Just quickly show you this bit though guys just before we head off. So that's one of the original old lampposts from St Mary's, um, obviously it's disused now. Um, but let's see what happens as we get a bit closer to the actual building. Um, let me just poke this through the wall so you can see this part at least. As you can see guys the building is very derelict. Well, let's uh, let's see what the score is as we get in a bit closer. Hopefully, get access to it. I'll see you in two seconds. What's up, you guys? So we are in St Mary's. There's one of the old security huts that used to be on the site. Let's have a look what's left of that because that was complete when I last seen it. Looks like it's been torn in half now. Why was this? This is not much to that. That's just a security hut. Then, be, to be fair, guys. Not going to mislead anyone. I don't think there's much left of this building anymore. As you can see, the roofs are practically all gone. But look at the front of that. Wow, this is, it is massive. Gorgeous looking sandstone on the outside. Let's get in, have a bit of a closer look. As you can see, this is one of the main buildings. the old entrance that is amazing so this wasn't the door I think it was part of the door that they converted into trying to block it in let's go inside and have a look where is this so guys this is the actual main part of the entrance into St Mary's that would have had a window there originally this is obviously the exit back in and out of there and we are going to be careful as you can see 
this has all seen much better days it's all falling through so guys we will be really careful with this one okay an old fireplace so we'll walk through this side and as I say there's just not much left of St Mary's now this is all the way up looks like it might have had a fire looking at some of that what a shame the big building though what's still left of it look at the drop oh, it looks like we've got tunnels down there I hey, will have a look see if we can get down there as you do let's go back through the other way there's part of the actual original sandstone which is obviously fallen through wow is this guys this was a big room as you can see there was flooring which has also fallen through there's just not much left of anything in here now it's just a derelict building It's all collapsed. Oh wow though, look at that. Look what was originally here, the inside. Look at the plaster work there. Wow, that's amazing. You still got some of the original pink plaster there peeling off as well on the wall. It had lead paint in it back in the day. And they did try to put um, a cover over the top of this, which you can still just about see. But guys, let me just give you a zoom round for this. Look at this, what? A drop so that there is actually part of the basement there's tunnels there which we will go in in a second if we can get down and go in which I'm thinking we can again this is all part of the basement into this room as you can see the flooring is completely gone now you can see the old doorway up there there's actually a light switch I don't know if you can make that out it is just there next to the side of the door look at the windows there would have been a really gorgeous building to be fair six it wood that was used in it let's go down into the uh, basement guys let's have a look or should we do that towards the end we'll do it towards the end we definitely want to get down there though straight in i'll tell you what let's get straight in Oh, I'm just not sure what that was. The old metal thing. I don't know what that was. Oh, wow, well, this guys. This is the old tunnels here in St Mary's. Wow. Still got tunnels. Oh my days. Guys, nice to go right under. It does feel quite cold and damp into these. So I'm guessing they would have been storage. We'll go to them in a moment, but let's go and have a look at these. What's down the corners here? Wow. I wonder what that was for. Yeah, very cold in here. So we're right in the basement now, St Mary's. Very, very, very creepy. I'm not gonna lie damp inside wow look at these is there anyone here again guys I'm just giving a shout out in case someone is in here oh there's an old boat down here wow so we'll go back and a bit of an explore on the rest of it wow there's this guys look at these Have a look up and see what this is. Oh wow, so we're in another room. This must be at the back of the building, which we'll probably end up getting to shortly. See, it's all falling through. What's in this part of the tunnel? Wow, this looks like where the roof's falling in. Hey, I wonder what's through them doors. We've got to go and have a look. Find the way up. So there's nothing in the doors, guys. Just so you can see that. It's just flooring. 
Must have been a bit of storage. But it just shows you how big the basement was here under the underground. Look at the arch of the basement walls there. Wowzers. Again, this one's still got a bit of remaining flooring. I reckon they were going to try to do this up at one point. So that's had new girders put in. Oh, wow, look at the old fireplace there as well. The windows. I've got to show you this, guys, because I didn't know this building was still here. Sure, that's the chapel for St. Mary's. It's got the old flooring. I don't remember seeing anyone showing the chapel on here before. Wow, look at that for a building. Look at the old floor in there. Wow, that is amazing. Again, we're right at the back of the building here in St. Mary's. Oh, wow, look at that. The back of the building, the outside, that is stunning. Let's see if we can get you a bit closer to have a look at the chapel. That's what's left of the chapel. This has definitely caught fire. I can see through the window. Oh wow, that is amazing. So there's not much to see in this one. The roof's completely gone just like the other one. Look at the old windows on the side. So this is St Mary's old chapel. Look at the brickwork on the side. Wow, guys, look at this. This is inside of the chapel. This is the doorway. That's the original bit of sandstone. Oh, what a shame. What a shame that this has gone to ruin. Look at the old art, art architecture there. That is crazy. And you can see the pattern on the wall that they've done with the brickwork. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me zoom in on that for you so you can see this. Look at that, guys. That is amazing. Even down to the sandstone between the doors. It... That is crazy. Let me just back up a bit. Let's see if we can get a better view of this. So guys, that's St Mary's Chapel. I'll have a walk around the side of it, around the side, see if there's anything left of it. This is the actual part of the main building. So we have looked at this already. It's impressive. Got a bit of glass left in the windows, as you can see on the side. We'll have a bit of a mooch back through the building. We're not done. This is the old path coming from the chapel down to the side of the grounds. Got the old bit of paving you can see we'll get to that that's the side of the building here guys of st mary's what's left of it with the windows there's the fence that's surrounding it to stop everyone coming in that is another entrance to come in there as well there's a few entrances here just to get in here oh guys i've got to show you this wow that is amazing keep walking around let's see what else there is yes I didn't think there was a chapel left I thought that had gone I mean it kind of has gone this is what's left of it wow. let's have a closer walk up and see the back amazing so it is quite derelict to be fair let's see if there's any of the back left of it no the back really has gone so it's obviously fallen down hasn't it over a number of years and the fire obviously didn't help either a lot of the brickworks are now on the floor to be fair which is a mighty shame. 
that must have gone all the way up. So there's part of the sandstone which would have gone all the way up the back. So this is the other side of the chapel now. There's one of the corners of the sandstone. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, I believe all these buildings here were absolutely stunning back in the day. I understand what used to go on inside and what they were here for. That's a shame because that's going to collapse down. There's part of the old drainage. It's all metal. The drainage is, it would have all been like a steel construction, I think. This is impressive though. So we'll go back in. This is part of the old building. Let's just have a walk around the back and just see if there's any more going on in here. So again, that just shows you the tunnels just down below. As you can see, the the basement was supported by wood boarding as well, just to keep the arch up in the rooms. Wow, this? This is in one of the other rooms. Again, there's a couple of fireplaces. You can see there's one there on the bottom, and there's one going halfway up. Bit of plaster left on the wall, not much though. And that's the view back through. That's where the tunnels are. The same, we're going to go back down the tunnels, we're going to have a look. There's the chapel from the side on here. I just wanted to have a look at this because I'm not sure what this part was. So that's that same building bit we've just been in not sure what these walls were part of though and that was maybe it's just to keep the grounds safe back in the day they're obviously the originals there's some age in them in fact i'd say something's been knocked down here as well because that's part of a building it's too wide not to be unless there were some kind of outhouses So just before we go back in guys and we're going to have a look in the tunnels and see what else is in. I've just seen something else which looked quite cool. In fact, let's have a walk down this side of the building a sec. Yeah, as you can see there was other buildings in here because that's the flooring now of another building that was on the side. It's all being knocked down as you can see the brickwork's all there. I don't think there'll be anything cut but let's have a look. So as you can see there's flooring here now so we are stood where there would have been another building to this look at the size of the wood that's come off the roof there and then that there's some of the original walls again from st mary's you can see this had internal walls as well that's some of the old metal drainage off the side of the building that the water would have ran through, the rainwater. Looks like someone did try to do something with it. It's a shame that they couldn't. So the building's behind here. We're going to go back down and have a look. Show you one room and then we'll go for an explore in the tunnels. Have a look at some of the other rooms as well. Just trying to get me bearings where I've just seen it. In fact, it's actually back in the building that I want to go. So let's see. I'll cut through this way. Wow, there's those guys. Look at that. My word. Look at the old plaster work that's still left on the arch there. It's still got some of the peeling paint work on it, the lead paint. The archway, so that's one of the original rooms. This is the room that we're going to be going back into in a minute. This one's mostly empty now, but I just wanted to show you this. So this must have been a bathroom or a toilet because it's got 
the original tiles going all around it as you can see it's got the curved top there going along the side so this is obviously part of one of the loose that was in St Mary's got the old wiring running through it as well a couple of old fireplaces This. Again, this is the basement. Look at that curve. Also, guys, this is the steps going down the basement. So this would have been the entrance here now, which has all fallen through. And then it would have had a door, which was obviously kept shut with its lock. That's the original lock, as you can see. It's got some of the original pipe work as well. Running through it. Houses. So that's where you would have come down the steps. You can see the actual concrete for where the steps were. And it would have gone all the way around, which is all now full up as I say. And it would have gone straight through into the basement down on the side. That's where we went down originally. We'll come back out that way. As you see, you can see on the floor. You can see on the floor where there's a would have been internal walls and stuff like that. So these would have all have been separate rooms in here at one point. And in the basement, again, you can see the flooring as it goes on a curve. Look at the old paint on the woodwork. And there's this big fireplace. Imagine these are probably blocked now. But that is, if you can see anything up there, guys, that's the chimney. Wow. Let's go and have a look though back in that in that room. We'll go in the basement. Where is this? Let's go and have a look. So I think we've pretty much explored most of St Mary's now. Um, we've explored a bit more really than what I thought it was going to be able to because most of it has gone. Look at this old thing. One of the old wiring boxes. So guys, let's go back in here. Let's have a look. Let's see what it is that we can go and find. Look at the old flooring. That is crazy. Again, this is one that you wouldn't really be able to get down because it's blocked off. You can see the storage that would have been used in the tunnels. Again, that's the chapel. But we're going to go down here. Wow. So we're inside one of the tunnels now. Actually, it's very, very derelict, to be fair. A lot of things have fallen through. This is back inside the tunnels there. See, they used to have storage. You can see the water pipes used to run round. They had other storage and seating areas. The drainage would have run through it, as you can see. It's pitch black in here. The old bits of storage there. Storage space. See one of the pipes running through the ceiling there. You can actually see one of the old grids. It's actually got water in it, as you can see. I wonder if this sometimes floods then, because someone's got a dinghy down here. Look at the old part of the doorway to keep this shut. Those are the hinges. Maybe that's the lock part of it. Creepy guys to think of 
what this place was used for. Look at the old floor we're going through. This place is so old. Got a lot of history in here, as you can see. Not that is on the ceiling. Not sure what those were. So we are literally in the basement now of St Mary's. Look at the old uh, fire pit there, guys, that goes through. Just something green in there. I don't know what that is. See if we can see what that is on the outside. That's the old hinges just to have warmed it up. Look at the ceilings, wow. Then this one's partly got a bit of water in it. That might have been a doorway going back out. One of the other tunnels, it's got a bench in it now. Let's have a look under here in this bit. So as you can see guys, that's just where they would have kept some storage. You can see some of the old lead pipe in there as well. To get more storage. Wow. Oh, you can actually see the tiles there as well. And the actual bits where they could have had storage in there. So it wasn't just brick, it had tiles on it looking at it. Oh, it's an old uh, an old bin let's turn this off so guys i think that really is it for st mary's today there's not much to see now there used to be a lot more than this understandably it's gone to rack and ruin it's open to the elements pigeons live in it now you can see one of the culprits just there they love scaring you wherever you go they all seem to get me anyway uh, i'm going to just make my way back through this room being very careful because above me it seems a very derelict my back out i say if you do come here visiting guys obviously be really careful don't copy what i'm doing um i take my own risks and i do do my own doors my own risk assessments just to make sure that it is safe coming in to some degree at least and i try to minimize any risks wow just look at the old paint though peeling off the roof up there that is crazy because it's the old lead paint isn't it so again in the elements this is what it does Let's see if I can show you down that side, guys. That's the side of the building. Amazing. So, guys, we are now going to make our way back out. This is the front part now where people used to park and different things like that for this part of the building. But there you have it, guys. St Mary's um, in the Midlands. Uh, closed down many, many years ago when they shut all the mental health asylums down. Um, this is what remains of it now. And obviously the chapel at the back of it. Uh, absolutely stunning what's left of it to be fair would have been gorgeous back in the day um but if you have liked please subscribe hit the notification bell and um, i will catch you on the next vid stay safe see you soon